Good morning, everybody. I'm very happy to be with you today because I just received some business opportunity, some big ones today, this morning, early morning. And I suddenly remember an incident that happened to me a couple weeks ago. A couple weeks ago, on the way to the appointment of one of the customer, one of my customer in the commercial building called E Tao, Tân Bình District, uh, Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. Fifty minutes before the appointment, I suddenly remember in this very building, I used to have a training program with another company. And that company, I trained them um, uh, leadership and people management two years ago. I remember the human resource manager who was a very nice person, but on that day, unfortunately, I forgot her name. I wanted to say hello to her before my appointment with another customer. So I approached the reception counter and talked to the receptionist. I said, excuse me, I'd like to talk to your human resources manager. I believe she's still working here, but I'm sorry I forgot her name. And she answered me, she said, I'm sorry, sir, I cannot do that. I asked her why, and she said, because you don't know her name, and according to our company's policy, I cannot dial the number to call her for you. I said, well, I understand the company policy, but you know, my name is Francis Hong and I am the corporate training um, facilitator. And two years ago, I trained on the manager of your company for the leadership and people management. But two years ago, I did not contact your human resources manager who was a core coordinator on that training. So today, I have the appointment with another customer, but it's still very early. So I just wanted to say hi to her. Could you just simply help me? And she said, no, I'm sorry, I cannot, Mr. Francis. But I can say trust you. I know that uh, the human resources manager is working in the next building, next door. Can you just go there and talk to another human, uh, I mean, talk to another receptionist to ask for her? And because I didn't have much time, I couldn't do that. I insisted on that counter that I wanted just to say hi. There's, there's nothing harmful to your company if someone just say hi to your manager. But the receptionist still say no. Okay, that's very interesting. What we could learn from this story? The scenario is one gentleman in a jacket show up at a counter and wanted to say hi to the human resources manager, but he was stopped right in front of the company. If you are a receptionist, what would you do? I understand, according to the company policy, you cannot, uh, you know, you cannot be against the policy, but there should be always the exception for certain circumstances. In this case, you may not know who is this gentleman. He could be your business partner, he could be a poten potential business partner of your company. He could be someone so your job is just dial the number, talk to the human resources manager, hey, say, um, there's a gentleman here who wants to say hello to you, according to him that he was tra trainer here two years ago. You want to say hello to him? That's his. That's the correct thing. That's the right thing that you should do. But in this case, you stop. I mean, the receptionist stopped me in front right in front of the company. So finally, I couldn't see that human resources manager. I wanted to say hello to her first, and secondly, I shared with her some useful and interesting training program 
that is very good for her company. But because I was stopped, the message was not delivered to her. Okay, if you are a general manager of that company, you should train your staff to be friendly to everyone who show up in front of your counter. And let the boss know that someone is waiting outside and let the boss decide whether he or she want to say hello to that person or not. Don't just stop the person right in front of the counter. Because you may lose a business opportunity, you may lose the partnership. So, the key point here I want to share is that we need to empower the staff. We need to give them a space to do their job. The receptionist was doing correctly according to her company policy but she's not doing efficiently according to business operating environment because you know what? She does not know this gentleman could bring any useful information to her organization, number one. Number two, because of her company's policy, a business opportunity may be stopped right in front of her company. Because you know what, I wanted to say hello to her human resources manager first and then I could bring some training program which is very useful to that organization but because I was stopped right in front of the company so I could not share the business idea with that organization. So the business idea which could generate profit to that organization was not delivered to that company. So that's the key things. And number three, we encourage every staff in the company to follow the company policy. But besides that, we empower them to have some exception to make decision in the certain circumstances. And they need to learn to empower themselves to make decision for such cases. But in this case, she couldn't do that. So if you want to make your company a friendly one, I don't care whether you are from big organization like P&G, Unilever, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, General Electric. I don't care how big your organization is. But one single action of your staff may destroy a business opportunity. That's why it's critically important for every organization in this world in order to be successful, they need to empower their staff to make decisions in the special cases. That's my point.